Hello everyone, welcome to episode 4 of our Minecraft series in Scratch. Today we're going to be adding Steve into the game, because as a wise man once said, Steve. So we'll first start off by going into our costumes. We're going to be making a hitbox for our grass cube. Let's click on our grass, let's right click and press duplicate. I'll call this hitbox. And we're going to be coloring this whole thing in with red. So let's click on the rectangle tool. Let's select the red color. Make sure all of these values say 100. And then let's just draw a rectangle that covers the exact size of our block. Now that we have a hitbox for our grass, we need to make a variable to detect which objects that the player collides with. Let's go to our variables tab and make a variable called block. I'll tick for the sprite only and let's press OK. Now, when we start as a clone, let's set block to grass. And I'm just going to delete this block here since we won't be needing it now. Let's go to our events tab and drag out when I receive message one. I'll change this to when I receive collisions and let's press OK. That's a new message. So when we receive collisions, let's switch costume to our block. So if we are a clone, that should switch costume to grass. Now let's drag out another when I receive message one. And I'll make a new message called hitbox. If I could spell that right. Hitbox. Okay. Let's check if the block is equal to nothing. So let's just delete the 50 in here and leave it with blank. So if block is blank, then let's switch costume to mine. If it isn't, let's switch costume to hitbox. So what that will do is if we are the mining cursor, then we won't switch to the hitbox. But if we are, then we will. Okay. Now we just need to broadcast those messages. So when green flag clicks, forever broadcast hitbox and broadcast collisions and make sure they go right after each other. Now we just need a go to back layer in our looks category. Uh, sorry, go to front. Okay, now let's make our player. I'm going to upload a sprite and I'm going to choose Steve. You can download this in the description. So here goes Minecraft Steve from the game. And the first thing you'll notice when we press the green flag, Steve is huge. In Minecraft, he's two blocks high. So we'll drag in when green flag clicked, set size to 29. When green flag is clicked, let's reset the position by going to X zero Y 100 and let's go to back layer. Now we'll be needing a few variables. Let's make a variable X for the sprite only, Y for the sprite only, airtime for the sprite only, and lastly, Y velocity for the sprite only. Now let's make a block called update and I'll tick run without screen refresh. Inside of our update, we'll be having our gravity. So let's drag out change Y velocity by minus two. And then we'll also need to detect if we can jump or not. So let's drag out if key space pressed. And we also need to detect if we're on the ground. So let's drag out if airtime is less than four. And then if it is, then we can jump. So let's set Y velocity to 15. Now let's make a block called X. I'll add an input called amount and I'll tick run without screen refresh. Now we'll be changing the X depending on which way we're moving. So let's drag out change X by amount. Now let's make a new block called position and we don't need run without screen refresh. Let's press OK. Inside of this block, let's just go to our motion category and drag out go to X, zero and Y. And inside of these inputs, we'll be dragging in our variables X and Y. And I'm just gonna hide these variables on the screen. So after we change X by amount, 
let's drag out our position block. Now we need to detect if we're colliding with the floor, and we need to stop ourselves from moving through walls. Let's drag out if then, and we need to detect if we are touching the hitbox. And previously we made the hitbox red, so let's change this to the color red. So let's drag out repeat 8. Let's move ourselves up by using change y by 1, and we need a position block. And if we have moved out of the ground, then let's stop the script. So if not touching a color red, then we are not touching the ground anymore. So let's stop ourselves from moving any further by using a stop the scripts. But if we are still touching the ground, then of course we are in a wall. So let's move back down by using a change y by minus 8. Since we moved up 8, let's move back down 8. And then let's repeat until not touching color red. So I'm just going to duplicate this block. And we need to move ourselves out of the wall. Luckily, we have this amount, the amount we moved inside of the wall, so we can reverse ourselves by moving out of the wall. So if we are moving forward, let's drag out if amount is more than zero, then we must have moved to the right. So let's move back out to the left by using change x by minus one. And if we moved into the left, let's move back out to the right by using change x by one. And then we need a position block below this if else. Okay, that's it for our movement left and right. So to test this out, let's drag out our x block. And here is where we can move left and right. So let's go to operators, drag out a multiply block, in the second I'll put 8, and here we're going to use our player input. So I'm going to drag out a minus block, and this is a pretty simple way to get input from the left or right arrow keys. We'll use key right arrow pressed minus key left arrow pressed times 8. Finally, let's drag out when I receive hitbox, we need to update and then position. Now we just need to reset our x variables back to zero when the green flag is clicked. So let's just drag out set x to zero and set y to 100 since that is where the default position is going to be. And lastly set y velocity to zero. Back in our block script, let's go to our when green flag clicked and we need to set block to nothing. So I'll just delete that zero. So let's move left and right, and I can move left and right. Let's try placing a wall, and let's see what happens. Boom, you'll see I have collided with the wall. And I can place a wall in the opposite direction, and you can see that I can't move through the walls anymore. Great. Now we just need Steve to fall. Let's make a block called Y. Let's add an input called amount, and let's tick run without screen refresh. Inside of here, let's first change airtime by 1, and then change y by amount. Then we need a position block. And first, we need to stop the player from moving inside of the ground. So let's drag out repeat until not touching color red. So I'm just going to duplicate this one over here. So I don't have to select the color again. So if we're moving up, then we need to move ourselves down. Let's detect if amount is more than zero. Then if it is, we need to move down. So change y by minus one. And then if we're moving down, we need to change y by one. So we move out of the ground and then we need to set air time to zero. And then finally, we need a position block and we need to set the y velocity back to zero. Okay, in our update block, let's drag out y, and then I'll go to my variables and drag out y velocity. Before we press play, we need to make a hitbox for our player. Let's go quickly to the costumes, and let's right click on Steve, press duplicate. I'll call this hitbox. I'll select the rectangle tool, and I'll change the fill to, it doesn't actually matter, I'll change it to red. And then let's draw a hitbox that only surrounds his body. We don't need it to cover his arms. 
and then let's delete the arms and we have our if box so let's go back to the code and drag out when i receive hitbox switch costume to hitbox and then when i receive collisions we need to switch back to the steve costume let's go back to our block sprite and i'll find if can place is true let's quickly drag out an if then and detect if we are not touching steve you'll see that I can fall to the ground, cool. I can press space key to jump, awesome. And let's try destroying a block below us. Cool, you'll see that we fall down and I can try destroying these walls and I can move through them. Great. So we have our basis for our Minecraft game right here.